So you think you're cool, huh? Yeah, I'm well. cool. Oh, hello everybody! Welcome to Wrestling Rampage! I'm Joey! I'm Tommy! And today, we're going to be continuing with the Halloween edition the of Wrestling Halloween Rampage. Halloween edition of Wrestling Rampage, right here. Tommy, what are you? On the Mother Shield. On the Mother Shield. I'm a fucking pirate. Oh, you're That's a fucking pirate? Yeah. Remnants of Paul Birch. Yes. And I am Carlito. With the fake app. <laughs> so, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get straight into this. Uh, we have the top five best WCW Halloween Havoc matches. Uh, you guys, if you guys watched the last video, we did the top five worst WCW Halloween Havoc matches, and now it's time for the best, and we're going to go ahead and get started right here, right now with it, with number five, WCW Halloween Havoc 1992 for the NWA World Championship, when the champion Masahiro Chono takes on Ravishing Rick Rude. This was a great wrestling bout. Wrestling bout. It was, it was a great wrestling match, you know, wrestling. Uh, and it was a great match. Rick Rude and Masahiro Chono. Probably the best match out of Halloween Havoc 92. Uh, Harley Race was the special yeah. guest referee. And so was Kensuke Sasaki. He was on the outside. Yes, and, uh, and then we had Hiro Mansudo for some fucking reason. I don't know why Hiro Mansudo was there. Asking 89 why he was there, too. Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh... It was... They, they put on a great match. You know, Rick Rude did the Rude Awakening, and... And uh, Harley well, Race and was outside. He fell outside. Got hit by Masahiro Chono. He and throws Rude over the top rope as yep, well. He throws Rude over the top rope, but then Masahiro Chono locks in the STF. And uh, Kinsuke Sasaki says, "Ring the bell." And uh, but the referee inside was Harley Race, so uh, so it was a DQ. You know, over the top rope disqualification. Shitty way to end it, but. Uh, it was still a great match. And, then, and uh, Masahiro Chono retains the title over DQ, but Rick Rude wins the match. That's right, and uh, then Sasaki and Race uh, end up getting a little scuffle at the yes. end, and and uh, uh, <laughs> Sasaki does uh, does like two fucking suplexes on, on Race, and the Race rolls out of the ring yeah. afterwards. But uh, if you go back and watch, like, like some people say it was a boring match or whatever, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it because it was a wrestling match. But we're going to go ahead and get into number four from WCW Halloween Havoc 1990 for the NWA United States Tag Team Championships uh, when the champions, the Steiner Brothers, takes on the Nasty Boys. This was the saving grace of Halloween Havoc 1990. It damn sure wasn't Sting and Sid for the uh, world title. Uh... For the U.S. Tag Team titles, the Nasty Boys and the Steiner Brothers put on a great fucking tag team match. Fucking A tag team wrestling clinic. Yes, and this is probably one of my favorite Nasty Boys matches, and I'm not a big Nasty Boys fan. Yeah, we know that. You know, I'm not a big fan of knobs and sags, but if I had to say one good Nasty Boys match, it was the one against the Steiners at Halloween Havoc 90. But the Steiners has always had good matches. Yes. Uh, you, know, you know, especially that time in WCW from like, like 1990-ish until about 1992, they had some of the best matches that they ever had in WCW, in yes. my opinion. Yes. You know, uh, the Steiner Brothers. You know, the Steiner Brothers and the Nasty Boys were fighting all over the place. It was a great... I don't, and I enjoyed the 1990 Halloween Havoc ring. It was all red. Yeah. It looked it looked like a good Halloween thing, man. And, uh, you know, uh, Scott Steiner and Rick Steiner, you know, they knocked Sags out of the ring. And then Brian Nas was in there with the Steiners. You know, Rick Steiner did the Steiner line. Steiner line! On uh, Brian Nobbs. And then Scott Steiner sets up for the Frankensteiner. And Nobbs landed right on his head with his Frankensteiner. <laughs> but it was he fucking did. great. He did. And one, two, three. The Steiner brothers retain the U.S., the NWA, United States tag team titles uh, the over na the Nasty Boys. The Nasty Boys ends up attacking both, uh, na oh, well, sorry, both uh, Rick and Scott. Uh, and then they end up uh, whipping uh, Rick into the ring post yes. twice with his shoulder. It, it looked pretty devastating, yes, I'm not going to lie. And then, uh, then when Scott Steiner came came back, I don't know what the fuck took him so long. <laughs> yeah, he was like... You know, I don't know what the fuck took there. Scott so long, but then the Nasty Boys leave. 
Uh, a great fucking match. The Steiner brothers retain their NWA United States Tag Team Championships. Uh, then we're going to go into number three from WCW Halloween Havoc 1997. It is a Las Vegas sudden death match between the Macho Man Randy Savage and Diamond Dallas Page. Yes. Their feud in 97. Randy Savage and Diamond Dallas Page was a great fucking feud in WCW. In Halloween Havoc 97, that was a saving grace too. That was probably the second best match out of Halloween Havoc 97. Mm. Uh, you know, uh... Like, but, like, going back to the feud with, with Savage and Page, this is, at, like, his, uh, Diamond Dallas and Page feud with Savage is what put DDP in the main event yes, status. Yes, put him in the main event role, and, you know, they had a great fucking match. They fucking fought all over the arena in the goddamn coffins, slams fucking Savage on the coffins. This was a great fucking match. And fucking Miss Elizabeth comes up and hits Mickey J in the head with a tray. And down goes Mickey J, fumbles and down like a fucking stick. And then Kimberly and Miss Elizabeth fight all the way backstage, so they're out of here. And then, and then fucking DDP hits the diamond cutter on Savage. Great fucking moment. Uh, you know, it was a great fucking match, but then the yeah. only thing that ruined it for me, there was one thing that ruined it. What's that? When Hollywood Hogan came out dressed as Sting, <laughs> dressed and, as Sting. And, and hits DDP in the ribs with the, the bat. The, the taped ribs. The, the taped ribs, ribs. In the, with the bat. And, and a lot of people are like, who's this guy? They didn't know. But you could clearly see it was Hogan with his goddamn NWO tights and fucking lightning boots on. And the way he was walking. And the way he was walking. <laughs> you could clearly see it was Hogan. Yeah. You know, but uh, that that kind of ruined it a little bit for him. But it was still a great match. Yeah, and uh, pretty much what happened was DDP got hit in the ribs with the uh, with the bat, and he could not get up to the count of ten, and so the Macho Man Randy Savage ends up winning the match. Um, and uh, after the match, Savage Savage hits uh, yep. uh, Nick Patrick. He hits Nick Patrick. Then he hits fucking DDP. But all of a sudden, Doug Dillinger is a threat. <laughs> Doug Dillinger. Doug Dillinger, fucking fat ass Doug Dillinger's a threat. <laughs> who was in you know, WCW? Sav 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 backed up from Doug Dillinger, who was on fucking Mayhem backstage. So he was on every WCW game. I'm surprised he wasn't on Revenge <laughs> and World Tour. <laughs> but uh, uh, well, he he also pushed the knockdown too. Yeah, the doctor yeah. that was uh, attended to him. Uh, but great damn match. Uh, you know, it was a back and forth contest. You know, Savage does the elbow. DDP gets up. Before the count of ten, diamond cutter. You know, Savage gets up uh, before the count of ten. It was pretty much a uh, uh, what's the name of that match in WWE? Uh, last man standing match. Last man standing match. That's, that's pretty much what it was, but they call it the Las Vegas sudden death match. But uh, great match nonetheless. Uh, highly recommended for yes. you to watch. All five of these are are highly recommended to watch. I like the last list. Yeah. Now, those are no watch. <laughs> Number two, from WCW Halloween Havoc 1989, for the NWA United States Championship, we get Lex Luger versus Brian Pillman. This was a great fucking match at Halloween Havoc 89. Unlike the goddamn match with fucking... And, and I like Great Muda and Terry Funk and Ric Flair and Sting. But that uh, Thunderdome cage match wasn't that goddamn good. The Thunderdome. With fucking Bruno San Martino as referee paint pilling Bruno. <laughs> all because we're in fucking Pittsburgh. <laughs> yes, get over. <laughs> you know, all because I'm in Pittsburgh, I get a booking at WCW. Uh, I think Jim Hurd made sure to fucking book fucking Bruno because he loves he loves him 40s and 50s. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but this match between Lex Luger and Brian Pillman stole the goddamn show out of start out of fucking Halloween Havoc, 1989. Yes. And uh, they put on a great match. This is probably one Luger match you could watch. Mm -hmm. Besides, there's more Besides Luger matches. Besides with uh, m m maybe Flair. Yeah, maybe Flair. You know, these are probably them are the, probably the only two best Luger matches you could watch. You can't watch nowadays Luger. You know, fucking '98 or '99 Luger. You know, but these are the best. This was a fucking great United States title match. Fucking Lex Luger and Brian. Actually, Brian Pillman made Lex Luger look like a million bucks in this match. Uh, you know, Brian Pillman does the uh, drop kick, 
Luger moves out of the way. On the rope. Off the top rope, Luger moves out of the way. And fucking uh, Lex Luger does the hot shot on uh, Brian Pillman. One, two, three, and retains the NWA United States title over Brian Pillman, but it was a great fucking match. Now, uh, you know, like, go back and watch it. It's actually on the Brian yeah, Pillman DVD. It's set on the as Brian well. Pillman Loose Cannon DVD. Great fucking match. A great fucking documentary as well. Now, go back and watch that match. It's a, it's a really good match. You know, uh, you know, surprisingly, coming from Lex Luger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, coming you know, from Lex Luger, them matches, Lex Luger matches are hard to find. Yeah, uh, especially good ones. And then we're going to go into number one by a bullet. Yes, number one best Halloween Havoc match of all time. From WCW Halloween Havoc 1997, it was a mask versus title match for the WCW Cruiserweight Championship when Eddie Guerrero takes on Rey Mysterio. This was the best Halloween Havoc match of all time. They put on a fucking great match. And was the best... The the best match, DDP and Savage was second, okay? Mm -hmm. But the best match out of Halloween Havoc of all time is Eddie Guerrero versus Rey Mysterio on Halloween Havoc 1997. And oh. this was voted by, in 97, as the best match of 97. Yes. So And, and go back and watch it go and back, you know why. Go back and watch this fucking match between Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio at Halloween Havoc 97. They put on a great fucking match. And, of course, it was like second, third fucking match, of course, to WCW. Yeah. So it would be easy to find. You know, because you know how WCW is. They fucking ruined Cruiserweights. They they had, they underappreciated those guys. And those were the guys that were fucking holding the kennel for WCW. The one fucking paint Billy Hogan here. <laughs> and fucking, oh, I'm going to break his leg. Nash. And fucking Nash. And With fucking his Hall. Midget. And fucking... And fucking, uh, no disrespect to Roddy Piper, but uh, I'm sorry, they were old age. Mm -hmm. You know, and that match between Hogan and Piper was the shits. For that, that fucking steel cage match. Uh, uh, counter for counter, hold for hold. Yes. A lot of Lucha Libre style. A uh, fucking, great fucking match. Great fucking match. A wrestling clinic. If you want to watch a good Halloween Havoc match, that's the one you need to watch. You know, fucking... Eddie Guerrero fucking sets Rey Mysterio into the turnbuckle, fucking crotches him on the turnbuckle, and then fucking Eddie climbs up to the top, was going to do a crucifix powerbomb, Rey Mysterio counters it into a hurricanrana, hooks the leg of Eddie Guerrero, one, two, three, and he beats Eddie Guerrero. He beats Eddie Guerrero, and the new he gets to keep his mask, yes. even, even though it was ripped yeah, on the side. Yeah, yeah. He, Rey Mysterio keeps his mask, and he's, the new. and he's the new WCW Cruiserweight Champion in a great fucking match. A five-star match. I'll do a fucking crotch Meltzer here. Five-star match! Well, see, Dave Meltzer don't know what five-star matches well, are. Well, we'll see, uh, uh, see, Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks aren't getting six-star no, matches. No. This is a six-star match This is right a six-star match. Actually, this <laughs> is a ten-star. What do you think of that, Dave, you fucking cocksucker? But... If you if you guys didn't like the last video with the words, you'll like this. Let let us know what. what yeah, you know, let us know what your best and worst Halloween Havoc matches are. Uh, and if, and if you didn't like the list, you want to give us a thumbs down, go right ahead, or make your own damn list. Yeah, make your own damn list. If you're not happy with ours, That's okay? Right. I don't give a fuck if you're happy or not. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed the list that we made. Yes. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter, at WrestleRampage. And if you want to send us a postcard or a letter or a package, you guys can do that through our P.O. Box at Joseph Flat F-L-A-T-T, at P.O. Box 6005 in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, 42702. And don't forget to have a happy Halloween and also subscribe to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know wrestling. Here's a doubloon for you.